Hi Sagittarius, welcome to your May love reading. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Welcome. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. So Sagittarius, we are going to take a look at a love connection you believe you have with somebody. You don't necessarily have to be together. Somebody you have in mind, you do have to at least know them. Uh, if you are single and wondering when new love is coming in towards you, um, there are single readings up. April has been released. It is out now. So if um, you'd like to go and find that, you can find your links below to your love in general playlist and find your singles reading and you can watch that. So this is for um, a connection you believe you do have with somebody. So again, you don't have to be together, whatever your situation is. And this is for Sun, Moon, Rising in Venus, male or female watching. It could be past, present or future. Please keep that in mind. And the energy can be interchangeable. If you need to switch it at any time, please do that. Only take what resonates. Don't try to make it fit. If parts don't fit, then they're not meant for you. And if it's not your story, then um, maybe next time it will be. Don't try to make it fit. And don't leave me negative comments because I will delete them. So I hope we're all doing well. Hope you guys are doing well and you're staying safe and healthy during this time. So Sagittarius, let's see what we have for you for love in May or whenever you see this. I do consider all my readings timeless. So if you'd like to go back, watch past readings, your links are below for general and love. Feel free to check those out if you would like to. And I think my incense went out. So let me just light that again. All right. So Sagittarius, if you're new and you're not familiar with my channel, um, I have a Zodiac Oracle here. So we're going to pull um, a card from the Zodiac. We could get a sign element or a planet and see how that resonates for you. And then I have a new deck here. Uh, it's the Journey of Love. So I just, just, just got this. So it's my first time using it for these uh, May love readings. So I'll pull one for the connection, the energy connection between you and your person, whoever you're thinking of at this time for this reading. And then I'll pull one for you, one for them, how you're feeling about each other and the connection. And I'll put you on this side, them on this side, and then we'll clarify that energy with the tarot and then look at the actual situation, advice for the connection, possible outcome. We'll get some extra messages here with this deck at the end. I go over all the bottoms of the deck also. So for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, male or female, for the collective. It's a general collective reading. It's not a personal reading. Let's see what we have. Oh, this one. All right. We have Virgo. So some of you could be dealing with a Virgo, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. Um, if not, or maybe you have Virgo in your chart, but Virgo does represent the uh, Hermit and the tarot, which is about going within, it's going in solitude, it's doing, um, you could be healing, you could be manifesting, you could be doing deep soul searching work, also thinking, contemplating kind of energy, trying to find your way, your light, your path. Um, so all the energy of um, the hermit with Virgo. So if you're not dealing with a Virgo, it could be that energy also. And if not, that's totally fine. And I do notice there Virgo is six, that's about healing and balance. So you may be going into hermit mode um, to find your, you know, healing and balance. And that's funny because you are the temperance card in the tarot, which does represent patience, healing, and balance. So, all right. So let's see Sagittarius. For whoever you're thinking of at this time for this reading, Oh, these are fairly new, so they're still kind of sticky. I have shuffled them. I've sat with them. I've gone through them. I shuffled them, played with them, you know, bonded with them. <laughs> but they're still kind of hard to shuffle. So, all right. So let's get one for Sagittarius. Whoever they're thinking of for this reading, for the General Collective, Sun, Moon, Rising, or Venus. At this time, what is the current energy, love energy between Sagittarius and whoever they're thinking of? At this time, spirit, please. All right, and that one. And we have Burning Hero, which is three, which is about teamwork, collaboration, coming people coming together. Burning Hero. So that's kind of like having um, burning. I'm thinking of fire, which is the fire energy, which you are the fire, a fire element. And that like drive, ambition, passion doing work, you know, the hard work to become some, 
I don't want to say like a hero, but become um, like who, who you are, who you are meant to be, or what you are meant to be. Um, so I feel like there could be a lot of either passion between the two of you, or you're feeling this way about this person, or they're feeling that way about you, wanting to maybe be a hero to this person or them to you, um, or wanting this to be like a very victorious connection also kind of energy. Hmm. Okay, so three there uh, is about, you know, reconciliation, coming together, teamwork, collaboration, working together kind of energy. All right, so let's get one for you, Sag. I'm going to put you on this side, your person on that side, how you're feeling about each other and the connection. So one for Sagittarius and one for their person. Spirit, please, one for Sagittarius. How are they feeling about their person? Or they're thinking of at this time for this reading. Spirit, please. Thank you so much. That one. And one for their person. Whoever Sagittarius is connecting with for this reading. How are they feeling about Sagittarius at this time? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. Wow. <laughs> Take that one. All right. Let's see what we have. We have the cloak. Wow, I just got this for, um, oh, what is that on my card? I had just got, I just did Capricorn, and I got this for Capricorn's person, okay? And your person has here, the bride offers herself. So it could be, you know, male or female, doesn't matter. So your person could have maybe already offered something to you. We have 43 there, which is seven, which is a very divinely guided spiritual number. So maybe this person felt like this is a very divine connection of some kind. So they might have offered something to you. And But we do have the cloak here, which does to me represent like an armor, a shield, um, like a cloak of protection. Like maybe you're protecting yourself, had a wall up, on guard, um, defensive kind of energy. And we do have 50 there, which is five, which is about change or uh, challenge. So that may be a challenge for you. Maybe to either let down a gu your guard or a wall or, you know, defensiveness or something like that. But we got the burning hero there. So could be maybe someone's having a change of heart here. I don't know. We'll see. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. We have Dance of the Planets, which is 56, which is 11. 11 is half the twin flame number for me. And then 11 would be two, would be unity. So Dance of the Planets is like the planets trying to align this, like universal energies, um, trying to align this connection, I feel, Sagittarius. Wow. Okay. It, you know, you could have had, uh, or you or them, you know, however this resonates for you, but I'm calling this your side. Again, if you feel like during this reading, the sides need to be switched and at any time, please feel free to do that. Um, if it's not your story, again, please don't try to make it fit and leave negative comments because I will delete them. So I feel like, since I'm saying this is you, I feel like you were defensive on guard, um, had your, a wall up, a shield up. They offered something to you. Somebody could be having a change of heart here wanting now to be like that burning hero. And I think the planets are trying to align this. I feel like it definitely could be a twin flame connection here. I think I've been getting that a lot. Look at that. I got heart fire. I just kind of picked up the cards. I got heart fire one. Ones are about brand new beginnings and heart fire. So someone's heart can be on fire here now. Burning fire. Earth angel. Seeing someone maybe as an angel. Nine which is about um, completions though. So, all right. So, all right, Sagittarius. Let's clarify this energy. Uh, this is the sexual magic tarot. So um, may or may not hold it up to the camera. YouTube's gotten really strict now about what kind of content you're putting out. And they want to know exactly what you're doing. So, you know, if I show the pictures, then I have to rate this a different way so we'll see i'll either have to hurry up <laughs> cover up blech, the nude parts or just kind of not really hold it up to the camera all right so sagittarius everything you need to know is in the description box 
uh, decks I'm using, social media, how to reach out for a reading, your links are down there to Love and General Playlist. And if you're new and you like my style and how I read, feel free to check out my channel. Like, share, subscribe, comment, all the great stuff. Be greatly appreciated. Hit the bell. You won't miss out. You get about five readings a month. And if you do, thank you. All right. So what is this cloak about for your energy? What is that about, you Sagittarius? What is that about for Sagittarius with the cloak? Spirit, please. Thank you so much. The Fool. So this is about taking a leap of faith, jumping right in, resetting at zero, having a fresh new start. All right. So we do have uh, Aquarius energy there. I'm going to read the, um, if you're not dealing with a Virgo, I'll read all the signs that come out. And um, if the sign you're dealing with pops out, that's fine. If not, don't worry about it because it's all energy. So it could be anybody here. So we do have the Two of Cups. And I'll just have to. Kind of cover her up like that. So we do have the Two of Cups here. So this is uh, soulmates coming into union here. Did you have a change? I felt that. Did you have a change of heart, Sagittarius? Were you once defensive and on guard? Kind of turn your back? The, because your backs are to each other right now. So you might not even talk be talking to each other right now. But maybe you're burning inside now. Like to be this person's hero or them to you. It's like maybe you've, you've had a change of heart. Now you want to take the sleep of faith and have the soulmate union, but nobody's talking. The planets are trying to align this. All right, so. Or maybe you're still thinking about it in that hermit mode with the Virgo energy. So let's see what your person has with the bride offers. So male or female, you know, whatever here. Somebody did offer something. Your person did definitely offer uh they were divinely guided or feel this is a divine connection so they definitely did offer something so let's see so we have the four ones well, i'll just have to do this <laughs> we have the four ones so they could feel like again this is my twin flame card and i felt that so they could have felt like this is a twin flame connection and so they may have offered you something in the past but i feel like you rejected them at one point all right, I'm getting change. I keep getting change of heart, change of heart. Okay, so one more for your person here, Sagittarius, Ace of Pentacles. So this is um, a brand new beginning, uh, divinely guided, stability, growth, expansion for the long term. You know, built on a firm firm. <laughs> Built on a firm foundation for the long term. So they definitely want this stable new beginning with you, possibly for the long term. However that means for you. They definitely feel like they offered something stable to you. Something sincere, something trustworthy. And I feel like you turned your back on it. But now you're having a change of heart. You want to take a leap of faith and come together. Wow. What's going on here? So... Ten of Pentacles. So now, now you, I feel, wow. So I feel like they wanted something here, stable, secure with you. They were sincere, but you turned your back. Now you want the Ten of Pentacles with them. So now you want the same thing that they wanted to begin with that you turned your back on. And now you want to jump in, take a leap of faith and have the soulmate union. But I mean, that Virgo energy could be the hermit. and Nobody's really saying anything, though. Or because we're in, you know, solitude, lockdown, whatever. So we do have the Seven of Pentacles here. So waiting. Yeah, you're waiting. Assessing, analyzing, um, evaluating kind of energy. Should I invest, not invest? And waiting. And it could be because of lockdown right now. Waiting. Waiting. Pentacles, very stable, secure energy, grounded. All right, so that is that Virgo energy. Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn is that Earth energy. Or they can have Earth in their chart, if you know their charts. The Hierophant here. So that is between the two of you. So this is like commitment, marriage, commitment. Uh, of some kind here between the two. You both want this. It's right in the middle of your spread. So you both want 
something stable with each other, uh, either marriage or commitment or something like that. But I do, I don't like the fact this Hierophant has two women here because, I mean, the Hierophant to me is also about faith, spirituality, religion, doing what's moral, just and right, that kind of energy. So I, I really don't like this deck that has two women on it, but I didn't create it. So, but again, the Hierophant here is about, um, doing what's moral, just and right, faith, spirituality, kind of energy, commitment, marriage. Let's see. Ten of Swords. So this is a painful, hurtful ending. It's in their energy. I feel like they think this is over. If there's been no communication. I see in uh, six, seven. So it could be like seven months. At least there's been no communication. And so they think this, your person probably thinks it's over here. Wow. Okay. So let's get one more, one more, one more. The situation here. Take that one. So the nine of pentacles. So they're definitely, um, definitely single here. Your person's definitely single. Nine of Pentacles is self-sufficient. Take they can take care of themselves. They're very independent. Have everything they need. Um, they can definitely take care of themselves. A lot of Earth energy here. The higher fit, by the way, here is Taurus. Doesn't have to be. So they're single, but they're thinking this is over. But they offered you something stable, sincere, and they felt divinely connected to you, like this is a twin flame, and you turned your back. Maybe you were defensive, on guard here, but I feel like you've had a change of heart and now you want this. You want it to be like that burning hero. Planets are definitely trying to align this, but you're waiting. Again, the Virgo hermit is kind of hermit mode. Again, it could be because of the current circumstances or somebody could be married here with the Hierophant energy needing to end that with the Ten of Swords first and become single with the Nine of Pentacles energy. So however that resonates, for you. So let's get advice. I'm getting, I keep getting the message change of heart, change of heart. All right. So Sag, let's get advice. It's too many. This connection. Four of Pentacles. Okay. That's an energy to here of uh, foundation stability, but also holding back, holding on, holding back, not giving, not taking. Kind of energy. Six of Pentacles, and here's a balance. So there is no giving and taking, but there needs balance. So a lot of earth energy here. Wow. And the nine of swords. So stress, fear, stress, fear, worry, and anxiety. Let's get one more. Uh, somebody's stressed out here. This is our advice. All right, one more. I'm getting the message. So the Emperor. Yeah. So Aries energy doesn't have to be. Somebody needs to take control here. Whoever's holding back needs to stop hold, stop holding back. Could be because of stress, fear, worry, and anxiety. Somebody's holding back. But somebody needs to take charge or take the lead or be a leader. Take control with the emperor energy and bring balance into this connection. That's your advice. All right, so let's see what the possible outcome could be for this connection. This connection, Sagittarius, Sagittarius. So we have the Queen of Wands energy here. So I believe that is Aries. No, that's your energy, Sagittarius. King or queen, doesn't matter. So that's your energy. Or you could be dealing with another fire sign, Leo Sag Aries. But that is Sag. No, that is uh, Aries. That is Aries. Sorry. So, or it could be just your energy, Leo Sag Aries. So, or with another, or another fire sign. How well that resonates for you? So, let's get possible outcome. What else here? You know, the wand to energy is that fire, fire, desire, passion, go getter, kind of energy, drive, ambition. Four of Swords. So, healing, contemplating. Uh, it's also an energy of. 
you know, kind of being alone, retreating kind of energy. And we're all in that four of swords energy right now in retreat mode because of the current situations. Or you could be healing like a person. Somebody's healing here or, you know, four of swords is like the Virgo energy of the hermit. What else? The world. So cycles need to be closed. So possible outcome here is... I feel like we got the world and we have healing. So once the world heals, then, I don't know, let's, I need more because, because the world is about closing out chapters, starting new chapters, closure, traveling. Uh, let's see, what else here for this energy, the outcome. Oh my God, we got the King and Queen of Wands. So you definitely could be dealing with another fire sign. This is heavy soulmate energy, twin flame energy. Same suit, matching couple, couple, equal match. Wow. Okay. So let's see here. One more. One more for you, Sagittarius. Nine of Cups. So happiness, joy, wish fulfillment in every single way. So I feel like it's either after the world heals through this epidemic, you know, and we can come out of this four swords energy. We have a power, like a major, like, I almost said power couple. It could be that also, but matching couple here, matching couple here, getting wish fulfillment, happiness and joy. Wow. Okay. And we have the knave of wands, which is the page of wands. So that's fiery, passionate communication, good news coming in. Somebody sending out a message or good news or communicating very fire, passionate energy. So we have the kink cups energy here could be Pisces, um, but somebody who does have love, emotions, feelings may not express them. Somebody may not have been expressing how they truly care for somebody or love somebody, and now there's good news coming in with the Page of Wands. It could be now expressing love. Three of Wands, again, waiting, patiently waiting. We have another matching couple here. Now we have the Queen of Cups. So we got the King and Queen of Cups, the King and Queen of Wands, Wow. So this is definitely a heavy twin flame soulmate connection here. Equal match. There's passion. There's love. There's a lot of stability because we have so many uh, pentacles here. Growth, abundance. Wow. Don't have a lot of swords except for the stress anxiety. So again, like I felt, there may not be any communication right now because the swords are all about communication. But we got the seven of swords here, which is... Um, Self-deceit or deceit or, you know, that kind of energy. Eight of Swords, mental entrapment, stuck in your own head. Eight of Cups, needing to walk away from energies and walk to better energies. So, yeah, I feel like there needs to be communication or things are on a standstill right now because of the current situations in the world. And I've been getting that a lot for all the readings, so... But I still feel like somebody's had a change of heart here, but there's still no communication. Or maybe, you know, maybe someone here doesn't want to communicate their change of heart just yet because of the current conditions in the world, knowing, okay, if I say I've had a change of heart, we still can't come together because of the crisis the world is in right now. So, all right, so let's see, let's see, or somebody, you know, Maybe needing to end a marriage here with the Ten of Swords and the Hierophant. All right. And again, with the world closing out cycles and chapters to start new cycles and chapters. What other messages? For Sagittarius. Divine animals. Hmm. 22. Which is about unity. Double unity here. Two of four. Which is about... Stability Foundation. Divine Animals. Hmm. Okay. So may have a connection to animals. And I'm seeing Leo there with the lion. So some of you could be definitely de be dealing with a Leo. All right. So what else here? What else here for Sagittarius? Awakening. 
Yeah, I feel like somebody to unity. So somebody definitely had an awakening to this connection and now is having a change of heart, whether it's you or them. I feel like it could be you, Sagittarius. I think there's one more. One more. Thank you. Joy. So I can see a lot of joy in this connection, 27, 9. Um, and it's about completions, coming to a completion or an ending. But it can be happiness, joy, fulfillment, uh, wishes, dreams, coming to a lot of energies with nine. But I do see there could be a lot of joy in this connection. So let's see what's on the bottom of the deck. Color and a lot of color. <laughs> 44, stability foundation. So I feel like there could be new colors that could come into your life here. So however that means for you. Changing the color, the outlook, um, the color of love. I'm getting kind of also. All right, Sagittarius. Well, that's what I see. So I hope this resonated for you. Um, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say, with my channels to always, always shine your light.